guys. <laughs> I woke up so late. Let's see. It is currently 7.51. I start work at 8, so there will be no working out for me this morning. I'll definitely do a nighttime workout just so that I don't miss it, but man, I can't believe that. What I did was I accidentally set, you know how there's like a bedtime reminder on your phone? I accidentally set that alarm for 6.30 p.m. So it literally blocked all notifications, all alarms, all everything. And so I didn't actually wake up until like 7 something when my body like naturally woke up. I think it was like 7.30. <sighs> Whatever. At least I got some sleep, right? So today is the 10th. Yeah, December 10th. Um, this is day 10 through 12 for Vlogmas. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started. I gotta wake up before we interact. Cause I'm so dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some breakfast before my shift starts and then I gotta start work, so. Okay guys, I am on my lunch break. I just showered, feel clean, put on some new clothes. This is one of the sweaters Cody got me for my birthday. Let's watch scary movies. I don't know why I had to say it like that. But anyway, I just put on all my serums, my lotions, my deodorant, all that good shit. Oh, I didn't put on any body spray. Uh, what should we smell like today? These are really good. If you guys have never gone to... Um, CVS and gotten these it makes perfect sense scents <laughs> So cute if you guys have never gotten these you're missing out because they're like I Want to say like nine dollars or ten dollars and this one is inspired by Viva La Juicy if This thing would focus there we go. This one is inspired inspired by Viva La Juicy. So these are just like cheap perfume sprays, whatever <coughs> I just ate it anyway these are like cheap perfume sprays that you can buy that smell like the originals but are like a thousand times less expensive so they're good things if you guys have never had them try it gotta take my medication this is my spironolactin I'll be talking to you guys more about that in a video I don't know if I'm gonna do it like for vlogmas or if I'm just gonna do it for a video that I want to film for you guys because I've gotten so many questions on my weight loss you know what I'm eating what I'm doing all that stuff and I want to break it down for you guys but like I mentioned in another video I want to do it when I like can sit down and actually talk about stuff and it's like kind of like all in order because otherwise I'm all over the place and super sporadic you guys know that but anyway right now we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble because I have to go pick up Cody's mom's gift and then I have to go to the post office which I really don't know if I'm gonna get in today like last time I went they had a huge line so we're gonna go ahead and just try to go get those errands done on my lunch break and then come back and make some food I really want ramen I think I'm gonna make ramen with a little bit of meat I just picked up what I needed from Barnes and Noble. It was this really cute little Star Wars kit. Um, I just thought it was so cute because it's like a Christmas theme one. And Cody's mom really likes Star Wars. So I thought this would be really cute to add into her little basket. So there's that. I had to get it from Barnes and Noble though because they literally didn't have it like anywhere else. Um, I'm gonna go to I kind of want to go to the grocery store first just because I feel like the line is gonna be insane at the post office so I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then I'm gonna go to the post office I don't know where it's sending me first <gasps> no okay let me get this figured out guys and then I will um, get back to you guys Oh, it's taking me to Ralph's first. Okay, we're gonna go to Ralph's. Then we're gonna go to the post office. So, let go. You know when you come to the store for one thing, so you grab a small basket, then you end up with a whole bunch of things? That's literally what just happened. I have so much crap in there. It's too much, but it's fine. And then I get checked out and then head to the post office. I'm gonna make a super quick little um lunch for myself because i'm hungry and i want to show you guys how to make your own little version of uh fancy ramen even though it's not 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do everything with ramen noodle. And I'm going to take some water and some beef broth or stock. And I like to get the soy sauce flavor. I think it honestly used to be called oriental, but now it's called soy sauce. So I get that one, boil that one up. And I also like to take like a little bit of the package and put it in there, just a tiny bit. Now for the mix in, we're gonna do some carrot, some baby bok choy, a little bit of ginger for flavor, and some chicken. And I just cut these into the circles and then I just cut them in half. Same thing, chop up the bok choy. as best as I can and then I'm gonna leave this in a pretty big chunk because I don't want to eat it because ginger's a bit spicy so but we do want some of these flavors to come out so I'll just do it into these little four piece chunks. You're gonna take a pan, some oil, a little Eden yellow and then you guys know I love this stuff. It makes everything easy. Put a little bit of chicken. And for the chicken, I'm just gonna season it up with some salt, some pepper, some garlic, some onion. And then there's this seasoning called Chinese Five Spice. So I'm gonna throw that on there as well. And then the Chinese Five spice. This thing's kind of sweet smelling, so I only do a little bit. This is actually what you use for pho. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this cook up. I'm gonna let this boil, and when this is done, I'll come back to show you guys how to kind of prepare the vegetables for the ramen. So I know I said I said I'd be back after it was done, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little. Um, I guess variety and choices. So like I said, I buy the soy sauce ramen. I use beef broth with it, but you could do beef ramen with beef broth. You could do chicken ramen with chicken broth. You could do, I literally made me, Jonathan and Steph, all ramen with beef broth. I did soy sauce, he did beef, and I, she did shrimp. And it still tasted bomb. So um, you can do any kind of broth that you want. And then if you want to replace the, um, actually kind of starting to burn up the actual seasoning with just broth then you could totally do that and then um it'd be lower sodium you know what i mean because you could buy like a low sodium broth so anyway since the chicken is basically like burning i have to take it off but i'll show you guys i'm just gonna use that same pan and i'm literally just gonna throw in our vegetables which is the bok choy the garlic, or not garlic, sorry, the ginger, and the carrot. And we're just gonna mix that up. And the reason that I do it in the pan where I cook the meat is just because I want it to get all of that delicious flavor that the meat had. So we'll just kind of cook that up a little bit, nothing crazy. I like to cover it because it just kind of like helps to really cook up, make things nice and soft on the inside. Um, let's see what's going on with our ramen. So the ramen is almost done. Um, I'm going to just show you guys what to do now that the vegetables are pretty much done. You're just going to take your chicken, add it back into the vegetables just so that it can all kind of mix up, get a lot of delicious flavor. Don't mind the fact that my chicken's a little burnt. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and throw my noodles into a bowl, same bowl that I had the chicken in. When I do um, ramen like this, I actually put a lot more broth than I would do if I wasn't eating it like this. Usually with top ramen, I kind of just take out all the broth and eat it kind of dry. It's fine. Don't judge me. So, and then if you want, like I said, you don't have to put the rest of this in there because, you know, all the sodium and everything, but I throw it in there because I genuinely like it. So now I just mix it all up. And now you have a fancy ramen that has bok choy, carrots, chicken, and whatever else you decided to make. I feel like whenever I cook, I have to do like the initial like, try my food for you guys. Okay, here we go. I actually haven't tried it with chicken yet, so I'm gonna try it, because usually I make, it's funny because I use beef broth and I make pork, but we're gonna try it with chicken. Fire, y'all. That Chinese five spice adds that little like pho kick to it or like ramen kick. Okay guys, I just wanted to try these on camera with you guys because I've never had them. They're the good gourmet pumpkin spice cookies but the keto edition. And so they technically have one net carb, less than a net carb actually, for one and a fourth cookie. I don't know who's gonna eat one and a fourth cookie but we will try one cookie and uh, see what happens. <clears throat> so they look like this. They're supposed to be soft baked, so we shall see. We're going to try one cookie. Mmm, they smell so good. I want to see when these expire, because I'm going to be honest, I got these from Ross, and you know stuff at Ross sometimes be old. I don't know. Alright, here we go. You know, for sugar-free, low-carb, grain-free, and soft-baked, it's not bad. It's not something I could sit here and eat a whole bunch of, but it's not bad. So, there you have it, y'all. I'm going to tell you what's up with these ones, though. The only reason I'm not giving them like a whole on 10 out of 10 is because they're not very sweet. Like they have a little hint of like sweet pumpkin flavor, but they're not that sweet. But hey, if you're on a diet and all you can eat right now is low carb or keto or whatever, not bad. Okay guys. Today is the real day for me to go get my braces tightened. They're gonna replace, every time I get my braces tightened, they replace all the rubber bands on top and then they replace the wires on top and bottom. So I love that because these start getting yellow after like probably too fast because I love to eat food that has, you know, some color, some flavor, like turmeric. Um, no, but seriously, anything I eat, I feel like just stains them. So, um, usually around the time it's like almost time for me to get them like changed out is when they're like really bad and really ugly. Actually, the last time I went to get them changed, the girl showed me like the rubber bands on the thing and it was so gross. They were like so yellow compared to like the color that they are when they put them on. So that's pretty disgusting, but <laughs> it's all good because... You know what? Once this 14 months is over, I really hope that I love my smile. So I've, I've had braces now since September, and we're in December. Almost three months now of 14. So I feel like it's going to go really fast. Like, I feel like a lot of times, like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I need to get a stand for this, guys. Otherwise, you're going to be all bumping on the road. I feel like... Um, I don't really notice it as much as I did when I first got them on. Like, clearly I still know they're there. I still have issues, like, talking with them. I still, I still feel like you can just see them a lot. But a lot of people that I've seen 
in person because you know like videos one thing especially like on instagram i filter the shit out of God, there's so many people looking at me right now <laughs> anyway i filter the crap out of my instagram stories so you can't really tell that i have um braces on the top but in person you can obviously but a lot of people are like oh like i didn't even know you had braces like i can barely tell i went to a dinner with um a lot of girls that I went to high school with literally like some of these girls I had not seen since we graduated high school so like 10 years ago can you guys believe I graduated high school 10 years ago like oh my god your girl's getting old okay come back to me but anyways okay. whoa I feel like that person's not supposed to be doing that but like look at this what is this what's going on here I really don't know but anyways um some of these girls, like I said, I hadn't seen since high school, like 10 years ago when we graduated. Some of these girls I had seen, you know, maybe like as soon, I mean like Sunshine, I see her almost any time I can in Arizona, but like some of the girls I hadn't seen in maybe like a year or two, but most of them I hadn't seen in literal years. So that was really fun to go see them. I don't think I recorded like any of that. I probably should have. It would have been nice to like have that. But anyway, the point of this whole story was that I showed up and a lot of them were like, wow, like you can't even tell you have braces. And I was like, girl, thank you. Thank you. So that's the plus side to the clear ones and actually i'm going to be doing a video on my braces because i've gotten so many questions for like follow-ups so i feel like maybe after this uh tightening i can do a follow-up because then i can ask a little bit more about um what's it called like what my braces are actually called and then i can ask about like like what they're actually called because I have two different types and I forget what they're called and also um I can ask about like what's gonna happen because they did tell me that I'm going to do this for 14 months and they'll shave down like between my teeth but if at the end of it like I still don't like it and I still feel like I have like I'm like this I still have like a huge overbite then we'll go ahead and extend for the two years that's so like another 10 months and uh Oh yeah, 24. <laughs> Ay Dios. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we'll extend it and then they'll actually extract teeth. But that could like dramatically change the way my face looks. And I think I mentioned this in my other video. But if I did not, the reason I didn't go with extractions this time was because even the ortho was like, it could dramatically change the way your face looks. I'm like, I don't want to do that to you. And I was like, girl, I don't want to do that either. So it's all good. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys when I get done with this because I need to drive. Ooh, flash is on. That's awkward. Leaving my appointment. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. First of all, this lighting is immaculate. I look horrible. Second of all, I got my braces like tight, tight because the ortho wants to obviously like start polishing between the teeth now. So they did them like tight, tight. It is almost unbearable no it's not but she's telling me that they're moving really really well and that i might not even need to have them on into november so if your girl doesn't have to have braces for her dirty 30 let's go let's go you know what i'm saying so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and head home now i just wanted to update you guys on that show you guys the mom braces now that they are back to being clean white wires yeah, well, pretty go. girl. Is your life the hardest? Hardest life to live? I just want to show you guys what I made for dinner. It's just literally whatever we had in the house. I did cauliflower with zucchini and turkey kielbasa with like this Mongolian sauce. I shouldn't be eating these. Especially since I just got my bracelets tightened. But, so well. Just saying. I'm gonna end day 10 here. This video is gonna be all on its own because it's actually super long. So I'll actually have a Vlogmas day 10. And um, we'll continue with the rest of them and see how it goes. So, 
I love you guys. I haven't been ending like any of these videos. So I just want to say that I love you guys. Um, happy day 10 of Vlogmas. And uh, can't wait to see you in my next video. <laughs> no, seriously, I will. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are amazing.